Oh, what's going on, everybody? Z here, and welcome back to some more Tectonica. We're back. We're doing the things. We're doing the stuff today. We're factory building. We're factory building. We're not exploring because we got things to do. We're not getting anything done by exploring everything. Uh, we got plenty of stuff to do, so we're going to go ahead and get going on that today. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. If you do, like, subscribe, all the fun things. So we've got this stuff going which is fantastic we got some planned stuff going that's all fine and dandy we're gonna just i'm just gonna let this sit for a minute um let it do its thing and these can just slowly fill up i'm not really worried about that right now but what we need to do is we've got to get our copper and our iron production figured out because that is what is going to be slowing us down more than anything um let's go ahead and throw those back in there let's grab those Let's grab those and let's see. These are, is that empty? Oh no, it's because that was out. Okay. So we've got those going. Let's go ahead and hit these, uh, hit these generators up again because I really want to get, oh, we got to get, we need to get the, uh, the water wheels going. So we don't have to keep activating these cranks. Um, but I mean, you know what? The iron and the copper doesn't really need the cranks anyway. So, uh, yeah, that is what it is. But okay, let's go ahead and let's get these going. Oh my gosh. We're going to need that. We need that going. Okay, how's everything else? Everything else is looking good? Okay. So we've got a couple areas of four iron for copper. Now, what I need to do is let's actually go in here. We got some mining drills. Those are looking good, but we need we need more platforms here. So let's craft. Let's see if we do shift. Oh, that was all of them. <laughs> um let's let's cancel the crafting queue. Hold on. Let's get a couple more um, mining drills made <laughs> first. So let's do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then we'll do the rest in, no, not belts, not belts, not belts. Oh my gosh, what am I even doing? One, two, three, four. Base building, the rest in floors. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and I wanna get the, uh, the floors built. Basically, we're gonna have a floor above these so that way they can get to the next, you know, next little bit of copper, so on and so forth. So we need to get that stuff going. Um, but let's go ahead and let's get this out of the way here. And I guess we'll go ahead and just wait for this to get done. Um, I guess that needs more fuel. Fantastic. But yeah, we'll go ahead and wait for this to get done, and then we'll start building this up so that way we can have uh, some mass production there. And actually, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, there's our copper. Um, can we move the map around a little bit? Not really. So there's our copper. There's our iron. We've got a good amount of both of those. We also have, I think that's the sandstone up there. So yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll get these going. Let's just wait. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and just wait for my inventory to get done because it's going to take a minute. Also, if you guys are enjoying the video, make sure you leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. Uh, I would hate for you to miss out on anything. All right, so I have some platforms here. Let's go ahead and let's see if we can get this thing built up here a little bit. Um, basically, I just want to extend this out to here. And then what I want to do is I basically kind of want to go up from here. So let's see how far we have to go up. Um, that's right, it doesn't like building straight up. So like, it looks like one more higher would be about perfect. Let's see, is that about right? That appears to be about right. Now, will that work for, see, I don't think we found the electric ones yet, but you know what, we're not gonna deal with electric ones right now anyway, so it's kind of, uh, it's kind of a mute point to even worry about that anyway. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and get these uh, frames out here. And then what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and bring this back to about right there. And then I want to go ahead and get some uh, ladders in here. Now, if I want to go up that high, let's do that. Oh, I think we I think we did it. I think we did it. Is that right? Ha <laughs> ha, perfect. Okay, so this is going to be our next level. So let's go ahead and get that into there. Get this into here. Something like that. Okay, so now what we can do is we can also put down some miners here. And then we can, I think what we're going to do is we're going to run them all to some like central smelting area which could actually be right here in this area, or it could be right up here in this area. So let's see here, where is our miners? Okay, let's go ahead, oh, you know what? Let's get this thing cleared out of here. There we go, all right, perfect. Okay, so there's four more. Actually, might be able to fit, if I clear this spot right there, might be able to get another guy right here. Heck yeah, okay, cool. So that looks good, now, we have to get these all fed. So what we're gonna do uh, for feeding these things, we're gonna have an output and an input. So let's go ahead and let's run, we'll run one line this way, and then we'll also run one line this way. Because eventually we're gonna start feeding these things um, autonomously with the, um, the stuff that we're making over there. So that should work for those. 
And then all we need to do, oh, we're gonna have to put, that's right, we gotta put inserters on these things, I forgot. I keep forgetting about inserters, like, you know, I keep wanting to just put belts directly on there. Uh, yeah, no, that should all work there, okay. And then smelters, let's see what we got here. For smelting, we'll go ahead and get a few of those going. And I wanna try to see, let's see, do we have, how much room do we have up here? I'm trying to decide if maybe we should just smelt by layer and then have the output go to a centralized storage area. That might actually be the way to do it. I'm gonna see how well this works. Um, actually, you know what? This this will actually work out perfectly because then we can go ahead and just do something like this, and then eventually we'll get these hooked up to something here. But uh, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and get some more inserters in here. So let's see. Let's do five, ten. We'll do like fifteen for now, and then the idea is going to be to just use this one belt to go ahead and offload all of the copper onto it. So we have four smelters and five miners. I don't know if that's gonna be a good ratio or not, but I guess we'll find out. All right, so yeah, those are looking, those are working pretty good. Okay, we've gotta get our fuel source stuff figured out. So we've got some copper, we've got some iron coming in. Um, Let's go ahead. We got we got to get these threshers going. We got to get the second layer of threshers going because I need plant fiber and I'm tired of going and picking it by hand. It's just it's just not something meant to be picked by hand. No, thank you. So we're going to go ahead and actually run down this way like this. And then let's see. Let's go ahead and get this lined up, I guess, to right there. That looks good. We'll go ahead and extend it out, and then we're going to get some threshers up there. Um, and then we got to figure out how we're going to move the plant fiber around. I don't think it'll be too big of an issue. But we're going to need more room here, so let's do something like that. And then, do I have any more threshers? I do. I have one more thresher ready to go. So, let's see. What is the proper way I want to do this? Because we're going to have, we're going to have two outputs here. So, we're going to have... We'll put one there, and then do I have enough to make more threshers? Yeah, we'll go ahead and make another one. We'll just get two of these going for now. Eventually, we're going to have more. Um, we're going to start, you know, expanding and making much bigger things. But for now, I just want to kind of get, like, the basics up and running so that way we have, like, stuff to do and stuff running. Perfect. Okay, so the other thresher is going to go there. And then what we need to do is we need to actually bring this belt like that. And then what we need to do is we actually need to go up. How do we? I can't remember how to do this. We need to start going up. Rotate high toolbar, deconstruct, conveyor belt. I'm trying to remember how to like just start raising it. You know what? Let's do this. Cause I can't remember off the top of my head. Let's start at the top and go down. And then we can, we should be able to flip directions from there. So if I go like this, I should be able to go like that. Grab you, you, like that. Okay, and then that'll bring it up to here and then from there it's going to go into here so we only have one input so that can continue that can run in here then we can go like this like that that'll work grab that one there grab that one there and then we're going to have two outputs okay so let's go ahead and get I'm trying to figure out what, we're, what outputs we're going to have here so we're going to have let's go ahead and let's you know what let's actually get this thing going and then we can see as we're doing it and then, let's see, we actually need to get power going up to there. So if I do that, that'll work. These all need redone. And then, you know what, actually, let's go ahead and connect power here. Getting tired of these hand cranks? I'm getting so tired of them. <laughs> um, I know we need to activate the next tier of uh, research. Actually, I think, what, it's two tiers away? And I know we're gonna get there because what we gotta do is we gotta get 2,400 iron ingots, 2,400 copper ingots, and we gotta get 180 plant uh, uh, plant matter frames. And what I'm trying to do is to my, trying to make it so that way we can get the 2,400 super quick. All right. So what do we have here? We've got two things. We've got plant matter and then coolant gel. I think it's I think it's coolant gel. So we're gonna have let's see. One output is gonna go like this, and then coolant gel. I think it's going to go back up and over here like that. And then that's going to go into, I think it's just going to run into a storage for now. Just because I don't really, I don't really know what to do with it from here. Okay, so that'll work. And then we'll go ahead and run that into there, that into there. And then we're going to need filters on these. So this is going to be the coolant, what is this? Shiver thorn extract. That's going to be shiver thorn extract. This is going to be shiver thorn extract. That's gonna go into there. And then from here, it's going to be the plant matter stuff. 
Oh, and then from there, we also need to start converting it into um, the, the biodense stuff. So that'll work. I need to go ahead and get more things over here. And then we're in an, another belt from here to there. Here to there. And then we're going to need another filter. Oh, inserters. Okay, hold on a second. I need a filter inserter. Oh, no. Filter inserter. All right, we need. <laughs> we got to make more research things. <gasps> Darn it. <sighs> okay, where is it at? All right, craft all of them. All right, let's throw these in here. And then we need, <laughs> I need my filter inserters. Uh, so we need another filter insert for that, and then we're gonna bring these down here. I basically just ran a thing of uh, a thing of these here. We're gonna run this down into a machine here, which is gonna turn it into the solid stuff. Hopefully, we'll see. Um, I really need this filter inserter. Three hundred and sixty for conveyor belt mark two. Are you kidding me? That is insane. All right, we finally have our filter inserter. My gosh, I took a took a hot minute, and that is going to be this. That could go into there. Okay, let's go ahead and get our belt. Our belt's gonna run basically all the way down here. Uh, and we'll go ahead and rotate it this way. Have that go there, and then what we need to do is we need to get our... Where is our assembler? We need an assembler here. Where are you? Assembler. This guy. All right, because I think, if I'm not mistaken, this will make fuel power 35 oh man this requires limestone mm. i mean we have a bunch of limestone huh maybe i should just run the plant fiber for now you know what we're just gonna run the plant fiber for now and then when we need to swap it out we can just use the same line yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do that instead so let's do let's do this um, I'm gonna need a lot. I'm gonna need a lot more base building parts. All right, let's get some more frames going here. Uh, we're gonna run a line over to here to these to get these filled, and then we're gonna do the same thing over there. Okay. All right. Yeah. So basically, I need to copy what I did here to down there, so it's everything's like nice and symmetrical, and then I can go ahead and hook into those. And then I need to do something over there too, because I haven't yet to do anything with the iron yet. So that needs to happen. And what we need to do is we actually need to probably get a buffer in here for plant fiber, so that way. We can be stockpiling it when we need it. Yep, okay, we got some work to do here. Okay, so there's that line that's gonna connect into there. And then basically what I need to do is I need to go here, this way, but I need to go down to here. Uh, you know what, there's gonna be a better way to do this. There's gonna be, uh, we're gonna do this. I put this right there, grab this guy, go this way. Then this way, back down, right there. Okay, perfect. This will work. This will work. This will work. All right, let me get these. I'm going to go ahead and get this all redone real quick. Okay, so I got this uh, this part set up here. I need, I need long... I need the long inserters. <laughs> I really, really need the long inserters. Um, because actually... Yeah, I need long inserters. Otherwise, none of this is going to work. So I have one of them scanned. We got to figure out where the heck the other one is. Let me go ahead and let me just get this hooked up here. Okay, so that looks good. But we need to get, we have to get long conveyors. Okay, so let's just go ahead and let's go. We got to go find those. Um, I have scanned one. And I remember when she said something about crafting stuff. And I recommend long inserters. So I'm trying to figure out where that was exactly. Because we found we found one, we found one of them. Um, I'm gonna go see if I can find the other one. Okay, so we're doing a little bit of exploration. <laughs> oh, um, ASM Power Trim Three. Okay, that's cool. Uh, we're doing a little bit of exploration just because I really need that long inserter. Um, and it looks like yeah, there's something here, but I don't think we're gonna be able to get into it. What do we need here? Ooh. 50 Altium and 50 high voltage cables. Okay, yeah, no. See, we're getting way above our uh, our stuff here. Hmm. So it had to be in like a beginning area. It had to be, maybe it was in that first area. I don't remember it being in that first area, but you know, I don't know. What the heck? Holy moly. This is a huge area. What the heck? The fungus grotto? 
What is this stuff over here? I'm very happy to see that the freight elevator is still intact. Not sure if it actually works, but obviously it would not have been easy to rebuild from scratch. Let's take a look. Oh, this is another station! Freight elevator offline. GPS system offline. Critical failure. Okay. Baseline power is definitely restored here. But something <gasps> else is going on. Power's restored here. Um, resource core blue tech now available in the tree. Oh my gosh, fantastic. Look at that, we did a thing. Entrance offline repair freight elevator. Okay. Oh, are these the electric ones? I bet you all this stuff right here is electric. Uh-huh. I bet it's all electric. Okay. So we don't know what the deal is. We've already examined this. So something with the power. Okay, let's see if there's anything else we can look at in here. Oh, man. I bet you there's so many goodies in here. Oh, I'd love to. Oh, look at that. There's Wait, there's more planters and stuff. Yeah, these are the electric drills, I think. Okay, so there's nothing there for us. Let's just go maybe sneak back over here. <laughs> this is definitely not where the long inserters are. <laughs> like, no, I have no doubt this is not where they're at. Oh, this is a... Okay, so that's that. Oh, there's a there's a thing right here. M track reach three. Oh, there's a whole bunch of goodies right here. All right, so we can't do anything there. Let's go ahead and let's continue on. I gotta find that. I need to go back to the starting area probably, and uh, that is probably where I'm gonna find my long inserter. All right, I'm working my way back down into here. Is this okay? This is where we were before. This is like the uh, the top of the waterfall right there. Okay, cool. So yeah, we got to go back. To <laughs> the uh, long inserters are definitely not in here. They're definitely not in the other room. Okay, let's look in this beginning area. Okay, there's those things. Did I happen to? No, nothing in there. What is this? What are you? Oh, standard pickaxe. It looks like the request was approved, but doing it was marked as a low priority by command. Interesting. The request itself was marked as urgent. We didn't come here for science, but I don't remember this kind of hostility about it either. What were they doing here? You know, I really wish I could get in there and just scan those. <laughs> That's the whole beginning area. <laughs> Darn it. I wish. Oh, hold on. Oh, I found another chest here. What is this? Iron frame. Okay. There's a bed here. Is there anything else in here? Oh, oh. We've got uh, inserters, a crank generator, some of those. Question is, how? How do we get out of here? <laughs> oh no. All right, so we got that stuff. Nothing super exciting there. I'm trying to figure out where the heck this long inserter is. See, there was a chest right over there, which we already got. It wasn't in here. The long inserter wouldn't have been in here. It would have been laying around somewhere outside, like part of a factory, you know? Hmm. What we got here? What we got here? <gasps> is that a long inserter? What is this? That looks like a fast. Yes! <laughs> we finally found it. Okay. So to kind of show you where I'm at, um, I don't know what this is yet. This right here is that area that had the, uh, the threshers and stuff in it. So like my factory is over here and that's like the battery room, right? So I kind of went around this way, kept going around. Um, there was like this little path that went up here. And then I had to dig up a little bit. And then I broke into this area because I saw this like giant like funnely thing right here. So now I'm actually going to probably break through right here and go into this tunnel area here. Oh, but we found it. Oh, I'm so glad we found it. I, you know what? I don't know where the other one was that I, uh, I, I scanned one at some point. But we're just going to go ahead and grab all these whilst we're here. All right, so there's those. Also, I've been grabbing a whole bunch of the uh, the blue plants so we can get more uh, more stuff going off of those. But let's see, is this okay? So if I break this wall down here, it actually looks like there's a whole like 
chasm right here. I can't break that wall down. Maybe this one? Hmm. It's definitely pretty solid. Uh, let's go through, let's go through right here. All right, let's see what we've got in this area. Oh, we got a lot of, a lot of blue plants. Awesome. Whoa. Holy moly. What is that? It's like the butthole of the planet. That's where all the water's going. Oh my gosh. That's terrifying. Entrance offline. Interact to repair. This elevator control console is dead. Fortunately, your suit, your suit was built to fall safely from any height. Yeah. On Calyx, when all of your friends jump off a cliff, you get to jump off too. Okay, but what have? How do I get back up? Okay. What do we need here? Conveyor belt mark two. We need two hundred of those in cooling system fifty. Okay, so we can't do that. Oh, what happens though? Like, I want to go down there, but. Oh, I mean, I guess there's a way out right there. Oh, and there's actually some way outs over here. We're not supposed to be exploring today. We're not exploring today. No. No, 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 no. Not exploring today. I needed the log inserter. We found the log inserter. Let's head back and let's get our things done that we need to get done. And then we can go explore <laughs> next time. Hold on a second. There is another room over here that appears... Isn't this the back? This looks like it's the back side of the... Oh, hello. Uh, cool Dense Tech 5 now available. Oh, that's... Oh, we're not even close. Okay. All right. Yeah, let's head back. So we got what we needed. Um, actually, we should have, if I'm not mistaken... Oh my gosh, we're one short. Are you kidding me? Okay, so I'm actually overloaded right now too. Fantastic. But we got back. We're good. Um, and we should be able to go ahead and get our long inserter activated finally absolutely finally what do i need for this what am i missing i'm missing a whole bunch of stuff okay uh, but we have a whole bunch of goodies so let's go ahead and let's start off by let's start off by putting some stuff into here we'll get those two furnaces going um, these are all going let's go the iron i think is like pretty much all out so let's get the iron stuff going and then we should be able to get the belts going to feed all of these things as well okay so now what i also need to do is we need to go ahead and get we gotta get this belt also going back here so that we can feed the iron machines as well. And what I need to do is I need to go ahead and get a, uh, <laughs> I need to get a foundation on there, build another top. We need to get these all laid out and nice and clean and organized like that side is so that we can get everything done. Um, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and start having this stuff start feeding it all. This is just basically gonna split and feed these and feed those. And then that'll start getting our iron production. I don't say like infinitely going, but like, you know what I mean? It'll, it'll start going uh, much better than what it is now. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? I literally am over here just, just extending out cleaning stuff. Is that seriously a long, it is a long inserter fragment. It literally, it's literally right here. <sighs> well, I guess I knew where the other long inserter fragment was. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, so this side is about up and running as well. Um, I just gotta get the belts figured out in order to get them fed um, as far as fuel goes. But I think we're looking pretty good. Now also, I completely forgot about, um, I need an output. <laughs> so on those copper ones, I definitely need to have an output belt going um, down and around this way and then into like a storage thing for now. So yeah, we need to make sure that we have that as well because we're gonna have to have a centralized storage. So what I need to do is uh, basically go ahead and get a belt hooked up to here, drop it down this level, drop it down this level, get it going here, and then we should have everything going fantastically. Okay, so we're gonna split there, that looks good. And basically what I need to do from here is we're gonna have another split to feed these guys. So I'm thinking maybe we'll do something like this. And like that for now, and then we'll go ahead and do something like we get one more block. And then if we go like this, like that, I should be able to bring this down here. Feed this down around 
into there, and then that should get that going there. Okay, so that all looks good. Now, I need long inserters now. Uh, let's go ahead and craft 5, 10, 15 of those to start with. And then that should... Oh, I actually... You know what? I need some of these, too. Okay, let's, let's get some of those going. Um, and then that, in theory, should... Because we're going to put the long inserter there. Put that there. Long inserter there. Regular inserter there. Um, uh oh This one might not work. Because it's going to go long inserter. Shoot. <laughs> I can't do it with just one. Uh, this one will work. This one won't, though. You know what? We'll feed it from the... I can't feed it from the side, though, either. Because the long inserter is going to go here. It's going to go boop there. Turn around. Try to drop it off here. And I don't think I can just throw an inserter right there. Mm, I don't know. We'll figure this out. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'll put a long inserter right here to grab for the same thing as this. And we'll just feed this machine. <laughs> yes. Okay, so let's verify this is going to work here. So grab from there. Go into there. Oh, actually... It can reach that. Oh, perfect. So it can actually reach double on both sides. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, awesome. All right, let's go get this side set up now too. Oh, this is so exciting. We're finally getting somewhere. Um, You know, I just realized this is this side, this belt right here has to get redone. I am so excited to get this going because once we get this going, these will be just constantly going forever and we'll have like so much copper and so much iron and it's just gonna be so fantastic. All I have to do is basically keep the crank generators going to make sure that we have enough um, uh, enough plant matter coming out, but I think we'll probably be okay. Not 100% sure. And I guess while we go ahead and wait on that, let's get this connected. Let's get it connected. All right, so no, darn it. All right, so let's see. This needs a fork on it, so let's do this. Let's do that. Let's do that. And if I bring this from here, then if I delete this, and then I get a belt, that doesn't work. Okay. I can't, I can't, I'm trying to get this thing to... I'm trying to get it to split, but I can't get it to split the way I want it to. Okay, what happens if I run these into that? Does that work? Yeah, it, it it kind of did. Now I just need this. Took the that. Okay, so there there we go. There we go. There we go. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. Put that there. Grab a one of these guys, like so. Grab this guy. There. Okay. So we've got the plant matter split, and that's gonna go down into here. Uh oh, we don't have a split right here. Why don't we have a split here? Why is that not split? I'm not understanding this. Okay, so hold on. If I grab a belt, put one there, put one there, that'll split those that way. Okay. All right, so now that's split. That's going into there. Oh, gosh. I think we got everything going. Okay, so that looks good. That looks good. We have inserters on there. Uh, I think we should need to make sure we have all the inserters on the other side. Put one there. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get these ones going. Put one there. That's going to take those. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely fantastic. Okay, we need more. Okay, see so now this is the <laughs> this is the problem. I don't think we're gonna have nearly um, enough. Oh wow, that's actually 495. That's a lot that's in there. That's not very quick, is it? So I'm thinking as a temporary thing, let's do this. I have fast inserters, right? Yeah, let me grab these fast inserters. We'll swap out um, the threshers. Uh, fast inserter is just gonna go one there and then one there that way if the line starts getting full Those are fast inserters, right? That way if it starts getting full this will start filling it up uh, And then we'll have a stockpile and then that can fill out that again. Okay, that looks good. We might have to put another uh, Well, you know what this isn't gonna fill up though because this isn't gonna fill up any more. You know what? Let's just take it just take that and Drop these in there We're gonna need more of these <laughs> That's 100% for sure. We're absolutely going to need more uh, because we're not making nearly enough, but it should, they should stay caught up now. Unless, oh, is it making more of one than another? Because I just took out both of those. It's not emptying fast enough. We need more filter inserters. Okay, so let's see now. Is this one able to keep up? So hold on. If I pull these out of here, we'll see if those filters inserters can keep up with. Oh, it's making two and three. 
I don't know. <laughs> it's not keeping up still. And that's two. I have two filters and surges on each one. Interesting. This is quite interesting because I can't put another filter and surge on this side for those. I could put another one on this side for this, but I mean, we're still going to fill up with that. Interesting. I don't know. We're gonna have to get, we'll have to go through and we'll, we'll optimize it later, but let's just get the thing set up and make sure everything has what it needs. Uh, so let's go back down here. We've got six more long inserters. So let me go ahead and make sure that we're grabbing from here, from there. All right, so there's those. We need to go ahead and get rid of that. Put that in there. Let's go ahead and throw another light right there. Okay, so these are all set up. This side's good, but this one. One, two, three, four. I need five more. So these two furnaces right here, I almost forgot. I needed, I actually needed another uh, a regular inserter for this side. So now that should cover that. These are all good to go. These are all looking good. Okay, cool. So we got four iron ones working, which is good. We need to get that doubled up to eight, but you know what? As long as they're going, that is good with me. So these can go and then let's go ahead and make sure it's going to get 10 more long inserters and then we can go ahead and get everything set up for this top one here. So we're going to need another, um, oh, I need some more small inserters. So we're going to need that there. That one's going to go there. That one's going to go there. Okay. That one's going to go there. And then I think I just need, oh, I also need these guys right here. And then we need regular inserters and then we're good. And then we're good. And then we're good. And all the, all of these machines have, uh, have access to a fuel belt now, whether the fuel belt is actually full enough of fuel to support everything. That's a different question, but we will have at least automated fuel. So these can keep running. And then I do need to, I still need to get the, um, the export on these. So that way they, when they're full, they can, you know, at least, uh, poop out some, some, some copper ingots. Okay. So there's that one. So by completing the next tier of, uh, tech, we will actually get the water wheel, which means we won't have to do the stupid crank generators anymore. Oh my gosh. That'll be so Nice. You know, I just realized, I don't know if these are actually going to work. Because if I place this here... <gasps> no, it doesn't work. It's not actually working. These aren't actually... Wait, are they? How come it looks like... Did that put that one in there? Does it only put like three in there? Oh, it doesn't fill it? Oh, it's only keeping three in at a time. That's super weird. You would think it would like just fill it up. I, I mean, I like that it doesn't because then that means that our, we don't have constantly like, you know, 500 sitting in here. That's interesting. It just keeps it at three. I was not expecting that. All right. They're all running. We're done. We've done it. My gosh. My gosh. We've done it. So we need to get 2,400 iron, 2,400 copper and 180, mat 180 plant matter frames. Now we haven't even started plant matter frames whatsoever. Um, and that's fine with me. That's okay. Are we having a power issue over here? It looks as though we might be having a little bit of a power problem. Um, yeah, it's because none of these generators are actually up and running. We need more power. Okay, so those are up and running. That's fantastic. We've got these going. That's fantastic. These are being fed. That's awesome. So the next step in order to make everything even like a hundred times better is to get the water wheels because once we get the water wheels we can fill this whole area up down here with water wheels and crank generators and we can have power on these power on these power floors and we'll be good oh it's gonna be so nice and then we can also get the high voltage thing i don't know do we get high voltage stuff with the water wheels um no we don't get high voltage cable till the next one so either way that's gonna be super handy but that is going to end it. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe, all the fun things. Next episode, we're probably going to go ahead and hit up some more. Um, what I honestly need to do is probably get more, more planters going, more threshing going, and just making sure that we can fuel what we have. And then I'd also like to maybe get the limestone or whatever going so that way we can get those uh, solid fuel pellets. But um, it looks like things are starting to back up a little bit on the fuel source. It doesn't look like we're... Maybe we need, we need to produce some more fuel, <laughs> for sure. But that's the next episode, so uh, yeah, thanks again for coming out. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.